Hey guys and welcome to Vegan Beauty Girl. Today we have a Valentine's special. We are going to be going through a little bit of a Lush haul. The kind people at Lush have sent me a goodie box full of their Valentine's special and I've tried a couple of these already um, but most of this is first impressions or hopefully look back at some classics from last year. I've seen a few of them online already and in store so I'm really excited to kind of show you guys what I've got. Everything in here is going to be vegan and cruelty free of course, um, as is everything on this channel and pretty much everything I create is all around vegan beauty and you can find me on Instagram, I've also got a blog so hopefully you'll find me a really helpful resource and I can give you all the advice I wish I had available when I first went vegan. But without further ado, let's get into it. So first up we have this very cheeky Naked Attraction body bar which smells a lot like Sex Bomb if you guys know that bath bomb. Here's a little close up of this cheeky little <laughs> massage bar. It's already melting a little bit in my hands. Can you really see the texture on this like lovely little bum? <laughs> this is a lovely massage bar and the bum actually works really nicely on massaging your joints. It's just a really lovely shape um, and it just smells really, really lovely, really sensual. The smell is like sex bomb. I just think this would make a really cute Valentine's present for your other half. Not only do you get them in the massage bar, but you also treat them to quite a nice massage on Valentine's night. That is definitely something I would adore. Obviously one of the big perks about this is that it is naked. Um, not only in the cheeky little sense here where you've got his little bum out, but also in the sense that it's package free and good for the environment. So it's a really good gift for an eco lover. I would say keep them wrapped up in some greaseproof paper because they are very slippery and they can really attract dirt because I've used the massage bars before and it's not too bad because you're only putting it on your body but still if you want to keep them looking fresh you've got to look after them. Yeah I think that's one of my favourites. If you guys don't know what Naked Attraction is it's this TV show. I think it's British. Hopefully they haven't got it the rest of the world because it's a bit embarrassing but it's um it's a TV show I think where you've got like one contestant and then three people are like slowly being revealed from the feet up and you kind of choose your partner just based on your Naked Attraction. I'm not one of the finer things on telly but it's brought us this massage bar so next up we have the love locket I'm holding it really awkwardly just because it opens up and inside oh my gosh how am I gonna do this um, inside there are like little love hearts inside there are these little love hearts there are quite a few of them um, there are more than this oh my god and fuck me sprinkle them out over the bath not in your bedroom would be my tip. Oh, it smells like strawberries. It's really lovely. But um, I think this bath bomb is like £7.50. But uh, if you really want to like make it last, you can uncork it and pour in the little love hearts. And then you can also use the locket lid. Then use this pink case. So it really is three baths in one bath bomb. So you're practically saving money. I think the one thing I don't like about this is that it's actually just really hard to keep in one piece. That comes out really easily. So you've got to be quite careful with it. I can imagine quite a few people will buy this and kind of mess it up before it gets to their intended other half. Oh, it smells so lovely. I think I think this is quite a sweet present. I don't think I'd be buying this one myself. I think there's just too many parts to it. I think it's quite beautiful and theatrical, but I think it's a bit much faff for me. Plus the smell, although delightful, isn't exactly what I go for, but I'm very curious to see what this smells like in the bath. And I'm in two minds about whether or not I do have like one really indulgent bath or if I split this into two, three baths. I'm excited by this one. And here we have the unicorn horn bubble bath. Look how pretty it is. And obviously you can have a lot of fun just pretending you're a unicorn. So this one smells incredible. It smells a lot like twilight, so of lavenders and sweet dreams really. It's melting all over my fingers. It's not as shimmery as I feared it was. You can see all the colours like come together here. Oh, I really like the smell of this. And I'm really excited it's like a nighttime bubble bar and I can't get over just sticking it on my head and pretending I'm a unicorn. I feel like if you get someone this as a present you have to make a joke like you make me horny. <laughs> ah, I just love the smell of this. Any Twilight fan, just enjoy this. Bubble bar, unicorn prop, what's not to love. On the topic of the unicorns they also have this lip scrub which is bright blue and oh it smells like blueberry muffins. That actually smells really really lovely. <laughs> Oh, wow, gotta say I do love the Lush lip scrubs and it will get your lips kissably soft ready for Valentine's Day. I mean I already have a couple of their lip scrubs, I seem to always gravitate towards their lip scrubs 
So I wouldn't have bought this one for myself, but I am looking forward to using it and I really love the smell. I'm very curious about the blue. I wonder if that stains your lips at all. So this uses sugarcane, jojoba oil and some plum oil as well. I imagine this would be quite tasty. I'll try and insert a video of me using it later on because I've clearly just done my makeup for you guys and I don't want to mess it up this early on in the video. Hey guys, Future Nicole here. Let's do a little bit of a scrub. Oh, it's very, it's very moist. I think the one that I currently am using is very old, so <laughs> a lot less moist. I would recommend doing this in the mornings before you put on your makeup. I'm probably gonna make quite the mess around my face. <laughs> I look a mess, don't I? This is not, this is not sexy. Um, but my lips look a bit plumper. This tastes fucking delicious. <laughs> You're not meant to eat it, so please don't. But a little bit you do get on your tongue is really, really yummy. <laughs> so, ah, I'm enjoying this. Let me just wash this off. So my lips have really been like uh, scrubbed by that. I do have really damaged um, lips because I'm always like biting them. I'm a real lip biter. I do find though, whenever I do get really consistent with using a lip balm, that my lips do get a lot better. So hopefully I will stick to it with this lovely one and try and do it every morning or every other morning. And then I always recommend following up with lip balm. This one is pure papaya lip balm. I don't know if Lush must do one, so check it out if you can. Okay, now back to past Nicole. They also sent me across the Prince Charming shower gel. It says, be swept off your suite and into the shower with this soapy savior. Packing a fresh pomegranate punch, yet still mending to charm with sweet marshmallow root and vanilla. So I just used this, had shower before coming on camera for you guys. I, I just really wanted to review this for you. It really does smell incredible and I felt it did linger on me when I got out of the shower. I wouldn't say it'll probably linger all day, but I think they've also got a naked version of this. So I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get the naked version, but I'm still very happy with this. And I'll return this bottle to the store once I'm done with it anyway. It smells quite like the Respect Your Elders soap if you've ever used that. I used to have that and it smelled incredible. It was like black currant but sexy if that makes any sense. It is a really really lovely thick formula just to give you a idea of how thick it comes out. It comes out like really really thick and really red. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that now. I'll shrub up my leg for the time being. There we go. Oh my gosh. No, now I want you guys to see what it's like on my leg. God, this is getting a bit cheeky, isn't it? Can you see that? Like, fuck me. Do you see that? So thick. Well, I'll wash that off in a little bit. But yeah, I just really want to show you the texture. It is just like really thick and that really took me by surprise when we're in the shower. It lathers really well. I think it's really tempting when you first use any last shower gels to throw in a lot when really you don't need much at all. So just remember that because um, they are a lot more premium price than most shower gels but a little really does go a long way and this should last a long time. I think I'll even let Tom use some of this but I'm undecided. He is very liberal when he uses my shower gel so I often have to like limit him to using only like the cheaper ones because he'll use as much of this as a really watered down shower gel. I'm like, hun, this is Lush. Uh, we have to be quite careful when we use Lush products. They're very lovely. Yeah, I might, might let him have a go because he is my Prince Charming. Oh, <laughs> that was cheesy. Next up, we have a returning favorite, the peach. Oh, it smells so good. Just so lovely. I had this last year and I really loved it. It's so cute as well. Like you just can't help but be cheeky with it and it makes such a lovely gift um especially if you like write a card saying like you've got a great bum hun if, if your other half has a lovely bum this is a lovely gift to get them to really highlight that you know <laughs> and it smells delicious and it goes really lovely and pink in the bath water i used this last year and it just it was just gorgeous i really loved it obviously they made quite a storm with this in the aubergine it was very cheeky and very lush and definitely one of my favorite lush products of all time yeah I'm looking forward to using this. It'll be a right little treat. They've also released a soap of both the peach and the aubergine this year. So um, hopefully they'll just like expand and expand on the collection because they were just such favourites. Oh, it smells so good, guys. Ah, oh, definitely recommend this. And of course, last but not least, we have the aubergine. So last year when they released these, I did buy one, but I gave it to my boyfriend. So this year I am keeping this aubergine all to myself. Quick public service announcement. Remember, do not put this in you. Oh, I loved it when Lush released that last year. They were just like, guys, remember, you know, don't masturbate with it. No, they definitely used a more PR friendly term. But yeah, it was really funny. And 
it just it just brings joy to everyone the fact that they've just like really honed in on how the aubergine became the naughtiest fruit ever it is 100 the best aubergine you will ever have mostly because it has a lovely fizzy tip enjoy this bath bomb it is a very special treat it's just so cheeky i just love that i just feel like you can get this for anyone and it's just like I'm trying to just stay mature. I am like an adult, but clearly I fall to pieces anytime I hold uh, an aubergine. Yeah. I think it's also got a bit of sparkle to it as well. I remember Tom being upset with that last year. That's something I love in a bath bomb, so much better for me anyway. I, I might give him the peach this year, even though I love it so much. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what he gets. I think it's safe to say that, again, uh, second year in a row, the peach and the aubergine really stole the show of the Lash Valentine's gift collection, but there is just so much lovely stuff out there, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. They have a lot of really cool stuff in store, and also, if you are looking to treat anyone to anything lovely for Lush, or even just treating yourself to something lovely from Lush, they have really expanded their fragrance collection lately, and I am a huge fan of Lush perfumes. I find that their scents are really potent and unique. So if you are looking for something which is just a little bit different to the mainstream, a little bit quirky, um, head to Lush. The odds are you'll probably hate about 80% of their perfumes because they aren't just the very fluffy, easy to love fragrances you find on the high street. They, they have something to them and that's why I love them so much. Um, but yeah, when you go to the store, you'll probably hate a lot of them. And even some of them you might hate on the first sniff and then like hours later, you'll love them. For me, my absolute favorite is cardamom coffee. And um, my heart is destroyed over the fact that they are discontinuing it. But hopefully by the time I've gotten through my brand new one, which I bought in panic, that they will have restarted it. It is like my autumn scent and I'm still stuck for a summer scent. I'm just like, I'm just an autumn girl, you know? I'm a, I just love those smells. So every time we get to spring, summer, I'm just a bit like at a loss for what to have but Tom right now has the body spray of Sakura which smells like seawater but in a really like sexy summery way I would recommend that and I might steal it often when it gets to the summer but yeah they have just really expanded everything and each lash has kind of curated their own collection of fragrances it might be different in every different store just go in play about with the scents and get yourself a new favorite a new signature scent which is vegan and cruelty free I think the whole fragrance collection is vegan but do double check when you buy because not everything in lashes is vegan so I might be wrong on that. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I love doing a Valentine's Lush haul. It's one of my favourite events of the year so I hope you guys really enjoyed this as well. If you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to hit like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram. I've also got a blog. You can just uh, find all my details down below because I pretty much just live online so it'd be cool if you guys could keep in contact. Let me know, let me know your thoughts, let me know what you've bought from Valentine's range and what I should check out next and until next time bye! Thank you.